Hi guys, welcome to my channel Science for All by PK. Today we are going to learn about SIM card. SIM card we use in day to day life in our mobile phones and various other devices. In today's video we are going to learn about lot of things related to SIM card. Say we are going to learn about SIM cards, what is IMSI number, what is MSIS DN number and the new entrant new technology we are going to learn about what is eSIM and how it is useful not only that we are going to learn about thin sim skin sim and what is f rod and why it is famous and lot more things related to sim card watch video till end to learn about all this technology let's start so what is sim card sim is short form of subscriber identity module this is a part of UICC made of PVC card. What is UICC? UICC is Universal Integrated Circuit Card which securely stores IMSI and subscriber identity and these are required to authenticate a subscriber. When SIM card was introduced, it was not in the same form like today and it has gone whole lot of changes over the time. Let's look into details. So here is the same format and their dimension and what is the thickness. So the first SIM card was introduced in year 1991 and it was called full size or 1FF, not down, 1FF. And the dimension was very big like your credit card, 85 mm by almost 54 mm. That is a huge size and thickness was 0.76 over that time there is not much change in the thickness but the size has reduced a lot then after that mini sim came which is called 2ff then micro sim 3ff nano sim 4ff these are the different name and standards so first one came 1ff in 1991 then 96 and 3ff came in 2003 nano sim was in 2012 now the latest technology eSIM was introduced in 2010 and the size is just 6 by 5 mm that means 30 mm square if we compare eSIM size with full size or the first SIM card it is huge reduction in size that is 154 times size reduction in eSIM if you compare with the first card now Originally, CDMA devices, if you remember, were not having SIM card system. Only GSM mobile phones were having. So, this unique identifier was embedded in the device itself. Now, let's look into what is IMSI. IMSI is International Mobile Subscriber ID. And this is the number, which is 15 digit number, is used by mobile operators to identify SIM card. So, this is a unique number which is associated with sim card if you change the sim card then your imsi number goes along with your sim card right now this is the format of imsi number first three digits are called mcc next two to three digits are called mnc and the last nine to ten digits are called msin and this format can change from country to country now what is MCC? MCC is mobile country code and MNC is mobile network code and the last 9 to 10 digits are mobile sub identification number. Sub is subscriber. Now these 15 digits are used to identify SIM card and it is called IMSI. Now what is MSIS DN number? This is nothing but your phone number including country code that means country code plus your mobile number is msisdn number the full form of msisdn is mobile station international subscriber directory number now let's look into what is eSIM eSIM is a small chip which is mounted on the motherboard itself it is embedded in the device so that means there is no separate sim card when sim card is not there that means there is no sim tray when sim tray is not there you are saving huge volume and the system design is very very efficient you can design in waterproof devices and with lesser volume that means lesser thickness right now 
if there is no sim card currently we are buying sim card from the network operators in this case if your device is connected to the network the subscriber can download and add or remove operators now what is the advantage i think one of the major advantage is going to be theft control because currently if you have a separate sim card the thing if i am taken your mobile phone the first thing what i will do is i'll remove your sim card and throw it but in the case of eSIM, there is no option to remove sim card and as soon as device is switched on it can be tracked right so and reselling of the stolen device is also going to be difficult now are there commercially available devices in the market yes the first device which was commercially available was from samsung gear 2 smart watch which was launched in 2016 after that many devices came from apple apple watch series 3 and later all of them have eSIM iPad Pro which was launched in 2018 after that everything has eSIM and Moto, Motorola Razr Motorola Razr which was relaunched in 2019 doesn't have any physical SIM that means this also runs on eSIM now let's look into design as per standard SIM card has three operating voltages what are those operating voltages these are 5 volt 3 volts and 1.8 volt these are called class a class b and class c and the international standard related to identification of sim is iso iec 7816 iso is international organization for standard and iec is international electrotechnical commission now what is imsi catcher device i am these devices can intercept your traffic or mobile traffic and get the information about imsi when you get the uh, information about imsi you can track the device normally these are used for spying or by authorities to locate and track the devices now what is there devices which have more than one sim yes there are many devices which have more than two sim cards there are phones available in the market which have two or up to four sim cards supported now what is thin sim sim overlay or skin sim these are name for same thing that means thin sim sim overlay or skin sim all are same this is around 120 micron thin is skin type of things there is a chip which is placed between device and the sim card this enhances the capability of mobile phone this is mostly used for branchless banking and many other things what is fraud fraud is a shanghai based company which has pioneered these thin sim or sim overlays to enhance the capability of mobile phone i hope this video was very useful and you learned many things please don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching